Hi, this is Dan again from Clean Guru, and today we want to talk about why most cleaning businesses shouldn't use a price per square foot method to bid janitorial jobs. You know, could a simple price per square foot approach work when bidding on office cleaning jobs? Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe if all cleaning jobs were the same, it might work, but they're not. And maybe if all customers wanted the same thing, it might work, but they don't. And there's the rub. See broad, one-size-fits-all approaches to bidding, office cleaning, like price per square foot, might work if all cleaning companies were all the same, cleaned the same, had the same costs, and expected the same profit. But they don't. Now, the really big ones may come close, you know, really large cleaning companies, some of whom may have 300, 500 or more employees, they may come close. At that level, the players competing cleaning contractors, they may begin to look similar. Similar management structure, similar approaches to cleaning, similar quality control methods, and maybe most importantly, similar expense ratios and profit requirements. You know, at that level of play, price per square foot based pricing may work adequately. But the reality is, the vast majority of cleaning businesses don't look anything like that. No, the truth is that most cleaning companies can vary greatly in how they clean, one person, area cleaning, team cleaning, how large they are from one person to a hundred or more, what kind of cleaning they offer, from straight janitorial, office cleaning, to residential, to any number of other types such as carpet or industrial cleaning, what their overhead or profit requirements are. And those differences make a difference. That's right for most cleaning companies. Figuring out what price to charge for office cleaning should start with figuring out the time. And what time is that? Well, it's the estimate of how long a building should take on average to clean. The reason we say on average is we all know that things come up that may take a little bit longer to do than on usual nights or may save a little time on other nights. But that's not the point. The point is when you start with a good estimate or average of how long a building will take to clean, you've got a lot. And when you start with that, you are miles ahead of the guy who decides on his monthly price by either dividing the total square feet by some arbitrary production rate or by multiplying it by some just as arbitrary price per square foot. Oversimplified measures give oversimplified answers. And oversimplified answers in a business like cleaning can quickly turn around to bite you in the form of underpriced jobs which leads to lower profits. To avoid this, we recommend you workload each office cleaning job that you're bidding on. Now, for our purposes, workloading, it's the process of using specific information about a building, such as floor measurements, so we're talking about room dimensions, floor types, carpet, tile, and fixture counts, sinks, toilets, along with a schedule of job specifications where each cleaning task has an associated production rate per square foot or by item count to calculate an average cleaning time. Yeah, there's a lot to it, but fortunately there's help available to make it easy, a whole lot easier. More about that later. For now, it's important to realize how critical it is to start with a calculated cleaning time for office cleaning and then set the price, not the other way around. It really all comes down to calculating an estimated cleaning time for the building that you're bidding on. And when you have a calculated cleaning time, you can move forward confidently to pricing the job. Cleaning business owners can multiply a monthly hours estimate times a properly loaded hourly rate to determine a monthly price to charge. When you start with calculating a cleaning time, you are miles ahead of the guy who is simply guesstimating a price using one of those oversimplified methods. Fortunately, there are useful janitorial bidding software programs available to you to help you workload the cleaning jobs that you're bidding on. Until next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.